Yo, yo, it's D-Town here, playing with C-Town. He got Atlas for Christmas, so they had a $10 Christmas special, so I got it too. And these were my first impressions of the pre-release of it. It is a C version of ARC, so if you're an ARC fan, you're gonna enjoy Atlas. Um, just like ARC, it's extremely fun to make your own character. You can sit there and make him look as goofy as you want. So we put a lot of fun to that. I actually made a little little red dwarf. Or, didn't let me use the word midget. I, I didn't realize that was like a bad term. I wanted to call him the angry red midget. Um, but little angry red man's fine too. <laughs> Another thing, it's the button layout's real annoying like ARC. It's identical button layouts, the mapping and that. So you gotta get used to it. I just realized, got told I could double click on the armor to equip it. I was like, what? I've been wasting all this time. So, that's a little, cause you gotta get used to the buttons if you're not, I haven't played ARC before. But it's a lot of fun. It's very graphic, very scenic you're playing on a newer style Xbox or you know that's something with nice graphics card and a nice monitors TV you're really gonna enjoy it the adventuring parts a lot of fun when you go out at night though it seems like it's more dangerous and it can get real annoying to have your stuff out I don't like the fact I have to stay next to the host that causes me to be a little bitch But you know what? A dedicated server could be fun too. I'm overheating already. So yeah, you gotta watch your overheating. If you spend too long overheating, it takes forever to cool back down. If you catch it off the bat, it seems like you cool down a little bit quicker. Just you gotta take your armor off and go jump in the water. But see, the battling's fun too. I mean, so... You don't really... You can explore the whole island. Oh, come here. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> So the special moves are a little hard to use. Completely missed them there. Oh, he pooped. There. I don't know what that poops for. It's a lot of fun though, just go out and explore the world. But if you run around these islands, if you're not doing a treasure, oh come on! Ah, oh. there we go. If you're not doing like a treasure hunt or something, I mean there's. Doesn't seem to be much to see on the islands. A lot of different animals. You kill different animals to get um different resources, and then there's but besides like seeing trees or finding caves to explore, there there isn't much to see on the island. So another thing that was really fun was adventuring out to other islands and finding treasures. You can decipher treasure maps and go out and sail around and look for these buried treasures. That seems like is a lot of fun there. And the sailing in general is fun. You got a captain up there. The sea town's piling the boat right now. I'm just controlling the mast. You can fish off the side of the boat while you're... While somebody else is driving around. It's actually just neat to go out and find treasure on the boat. So, I mean, leave us some likes. Leave us some comments. And, uh... I'm gonna leave you to some sailing footage. <laughs> 